Matt Morrow, Carolina Varsity here with head coach Ken McClamrock for the Central Cabarrus Vikings. Coach, tell me why you took the uh, Central job. I'll tell you what, you know, I, I told the, the administrators when I met with them in the interview that over the last 21 years, I've either coached against or played against Central Cabarrus for 18 of those years. And, wow. And, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of really good players come through here. I've seen a lot of really good talent come through. And I've seen some years when Central uh, maybe was not as good as other years, but I've always believed that there was the right mix of kids here mm -hmm. and the right mix of, of teachers and community support here to make this program really successful. You know, Coach Keeper did a great job of bringing this program back to, to a program that's respected around the area. You know, I live two and a half miles from here. Oh, my, nice. My little boys were up here all the time. My boys would probably be up here with me this weekend. You know, <laughs> so it's nice having them around. It's nice to. To, to have a family atmosphere here. We, we talk about family and it's nice to actually to live out that family. Great, great. Uh, so what will your offense and defense look like this upcoming season? Well, you know, I mean, offensively, you know, I, I think if I, had to, if I had to call it something, we'd call it a multiple spread offense. We want to be able mm -hmm. to do multiple things from multiple looks, but still run the basic basic uh, schemes that we run. We're, we're mostly a zone uh, counter team, but they've been doing a lot of power here, so we end up being a zone power team offensively. We're gonna spread the ball around. You know, we want to throw the football. We got a pretty good quarterback that I think can really, can really sling it around. We got some kids at receivers that I think can really catch the football, and we got some really, really quick um, running backs as well. So we're gonna try to spread the ball around. We got the offensive lines working really, really hard to, to learn the zone scheme as opposed to being the gap scheme they've been for years and years and years, and then. Defensively, we're going to be a four-two-five look team. We've got okay. uh, some kids on the defensive line who I think can really, really help us out. We've got some big linebackers who, who uh, I think can be pretty special players. And then our, our defensive backfield is starting to come together really nice. I've been really impressed with the way some young kids at that position uh, are working hard. I mean, we're going to be young on both sides of the ball, but, but I think that we have the potential to be extremely athletic. Great, great, coach. Um, We've been asking head coaches their definition of a program. Yeah. And I want to ask you, what, what do you want to instill here as, as the uh, main mantra for your football program? Absolutely. Well, you know, I think it's tough. Uh, I'm sorry. It's important to remember that a program is a whole lot different than a team. Mm -hmm. Teams change from year to year. Yep. Coaches change from year to year. Head coaches change, potentially. But a program outlasts all those things. Programs aren't season to season. Programs aren't even a four-year cycle of of, of freshmen to seniors, but programs go on forever and ever and ever. And, you know, and in this county, there are some really top-notch programs that, oh, yeah. that have been football powerhouses for a long, long, long time. Concord and Kannapolis and those types of schools. Then we got rising programs in the county. And we want to establish something here at Central Cabarrus that whenever our seniors come back 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now with their wives and their kids, and Central Cabarrus, we're winning state championships here regularly and we're competing for championships here regularly, that these guys can say, hey, when I was a sophomore, when I was a junior, when I was a senior, I was there when this began. So to me, a program is greater than any one person. It's greater than any one coach. It's greater than any group of players that play. A program transcends all those things. And in a, a program, no one is more important than the program itself. So we talk a lot about family. Mm -hmm. We talk a lot about unity. We talk a lot about brotherhood. We talk a lot about doing things together. We talk a lot about bringing our guys together. And our guys have really responded well to that. They're working hard. They're coming together. They're loving on each other. Uh, like very few teams I've ever been a part of already. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited about how the guys have bought into what the coaches are teaching. You know, we talk a lot about our core values. We have four core values that that that, that uh, set the sail, so to speak, to our program. They're the GPS for our program. Okay. We talk about character. We talk about commitment. We talk about hard work. We talk about success. And we have credos that, that go along with each of those words. And so before our kids can even get a helmet, They've got to know their four core values and what the credos or the mottos are, what the definitions of those core values are. So we want kids to be leaders not only in the, in the football field or in the weight room or in the field house, but leaders in the schoolhouse, leaders in the community. We want young men to become great men. We want young men to become great husbands and great leaders and great members of our community because, once again, I live in this community. Oh, yeah. So I want these guys to be great role models for my four-year-old twin boys. And I want these guys to know who my wife is. I want them to give her a hug. I want her to know who they are. Mm -hmm. you know, all that to me is, is, is creating a program. Man, that is awesome, Coach.